The islands have always been a mystery. Since the beginning, over 1500 years ago, when the first Polynesians arrived, following the light of the eastern star called Manalo. With only the stars to guide them, they sailed 2,000 miles in canoes to migrate to the islands, and they believed that they had finally found paradise. But paradise is an elusive thing, as long as man exists. But this time new forms came, perhaps seeking this elusive beast or bringing us a new beast. In 1820, the Thorntons and Hiram Bingham came to the islands to bring us the good news. Well, Reverend, I hope it's what you expected. It's more. What are you looking to do here with these savages? They're people, Skipper Jack. They're naked. It's all right. Tell that to Captain Cook. They were not warmly received when they arrived in the village. Our people have long memories, and they remembered the ghost of Captain Cook. They also despised the whalers who preyed upon our women. All was not well. What do you want with Ali'i? Uh, I have a letter of intent from Papu uh, Akia in uh, Boston. He arranged a meeting for both myself and Chiefus. We should go. This is not safe. They don't want us. Leave them be, Kanoa. Ah. I am Chiefus Kapiolani. Ah, it's a pleasure to finally meet you, Chiefess. We didn't expect you to be so young. <laughs> it is rank that met us here in the islands, Reverend Thornton. Not age. It is a pleasure to meet all of you. Come, Makana, Kapu, help them with their luggage. Ah. You have a beautiful country, and you speak English so well. The British sailors taught us, starting with Captain Cook's men 50 years ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well. Henry, don't provoke them. The chief is, has everything under control, right? They're gesturing towards us and pointing. Come, come, stay with us. We didn't know what to make of these new visitors. They were not like the others, the whalers who only wanted to drink rum and possess our women. These people were here for something else, and it made all of us uneasy. The woman you encountered earlier in the village, who was alarming everyone, that is Priestess Kanoa. Yeah, I saw her. Not everyone is like her. The gods are extremely angry with us. <laughs> I don't believe in God, only I believe in myself. Yeah, we can see that, Skipper. The gods. Yes, Pele. She is god of the volcano. It is she who shaped the sacred land. We fear her greatly. Henry, where are we going? I'm so tired, I need to rest. Why are you here? We are just here to, to help. Are you here to convert us? No, only God can do that. Why are you here then? To help. We want to help you in any way we can. Why do foreigners always think they can help? You brought guns to our islands, remember? Hey, those guns are here to protect you, too. From what? Other guns. So sorry about that. Is there something wrong? The goddess is very angry. War is prevalent. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Your goddess is an angry goddess? Pele is temperamental. She devours the land. She is a goddess who settled on Halema'uma'u along with her husband Lohio. It was when Lohio kissed another woman, her own sister, that she covered him in lava. And uh, how do you appease her? By sacrificing. Sacrificing what? Humans. 
we didn't always practice human sacrificing. It is when a priest from Tahiti brought the practice in. His name was Pa'ao almost 900 years ago, but it was abolished by King Kamehameha II only a few years ago. But some are trying to bring it back. Who on earth would try and bring back such a barbaric practice? Your Pele sounds like a very jealous god. Does it not say in your holy book that I am a jealous god? That only means, that only means that we shall have no other gods before him. How dare you judge us when your culture has the same practice? I am not judging you. If I were to judge you, you would know it. I would just suggest we are not trying to fool you. So what truly is your purpose here then? We spoke with one of your people in Boston. He came to us and shared that there was struggle and suffering among your people. And our faith moved us to go forward and travel 10 months in hard conditions on a broken down ship. We came here to assist you, to, to build, to, uh, to help you with planting and caring for the sick and for sharing good news. Good news? So the truth comes out. Over there is your hut. Kapu, Makana, take them. Okay, I'm going to head back to the ship, and I hope they don't have too much ketchup here. Why? Well, to put on you after they cook you. Good luck. Farewell. Walk. Heli. Mahalo. I knew that was why they had come. Our ancestor Henry Opukahayo went to their land several years ago and died. But his spirit brought back this good news. It was about their god. But we already had gods. Many of them. Why would we need one more? What would compel them to travel all this way to tell us about their one god? Wahiki maina enami. Aole mai ka ikeia. Maya mai lako. Aloa koma na o. He mau we nemi keia po e haole. Ka aina like a Henry opuka haia. Ka hi vahi kapa ia amelika. So the ship is leaving? Yes, it's going back to England. And you and your friends have stayed behind? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Hemela, <laughs> What do you mean by that? Pele is angry, but her anger will subside. I'm not talking about Pele. All due respect, Chief S. I'm talking about the God who created heaven and earth. The God through which all things were made. Nothing exists without him. May I introduce you to Akira Endo? Nice to meet you. He is a samurai warrior from Japan. My pleasure. How did you end up here, Mr. Endo? I was the Japanese ambassador to Holland under the Tokugawa Shogunate. But pirates overtook our ship, and I was taken hostage. 
Incredible tale, sir. Why are you from? America. Would you look at that? Bloody missionaries. If they keep this up, they're going to convert the entire bloody island. Aye, that's right, they will. I'm blind. I'm not going to let that happen. Without whiskey, without rum, without women, what left is there? Nothing! Nothing! It's an outrage! Let's go, boys. Ah. This man does not believe in Pele. Do you, Mr. Thornton? Answer me. I believe in God. That's all. Henry, what is going on? Come. What is going on? It's all under control. Control? Yes. I heard them. They want to kill us. That's... that's Kanoa. She has some kind of... Uh... This is insanity. We must leave. God will protect us, Mary. How can you be so sure, Brother Psalm Hiram? 91. Words will not stop a spear from piercing your heart. God is in control, Brother Henry. Yes, God is in control. This is insane. We must leave here. I am sorry for what has happened. I will do everything in my power to protect you. But... But what? You must be careful. The priestess Kanoa, she is very powerful and she has great influence on the people. The foreign woman. I don't know why she came here. She is so miserable. I can't stand it. I feel sorry for her. I don't know how much longer they intend to stay. Oh, Henry, the mosquitoes are everywhere here. Yeah, just blame it on Captain Cook.
Ku. Ku kuli. Kapu! Elmai! Abidi! Kalamaya wiki kai kunani. Pele kale ale a. Kipa lalu. Love you ya. Aku ga mau. Arika, Arika. Aku ga mau. Arika. Aore au hanai ke kai melo ai ke ia. Ke lu. Oi oi kapu. Love. Aore. Arika. Aku ga mau. Henry, blame it on Captain Cook. <laughs> what? What does that mean? He brought mosquitoes to the islands. Or should I say mosquito larvae? They were in the water they brought aboard the ships. Uh, did he bring anything good? Yeah. Cows, goats. Good morning, Reverend Henry. Good morning, Makana. Miss Mary. What's going on there? Our sacrifice has escaped. What sacrifice? Kapu. Why did they choose him? They claimed he stole from them, but it's not true. If Kanoa and Alika get their way, you will be drowned or sacrificed. I thought they abandoned the sacrifice of humans. We did, but Alika and Kanoa wish to return to the ways of the past. This is madness. Mary! Mary! Mary, where are you going? Stop! Stop! How could you bring me here? I, you wanted to come. No. You told me that these were a peaceful, loving people. Well, I hate them. I hate every last one of these filthy, worthless savages! Mary, please. Your words are accountable to God. These filthy, worthless savages, they are God's creation just like us. They have a soul just like us. Why should I care what God thinks? God cares nothing for me. If he cared one whit about my welfare, I would be in Boston instead of on this wretched island. You brought me to this godforsaken land, half a world away from everything and everyone I have ever loved, and you expect me to be gracious as they prepare to sacrifice a man? How are you going to share your faith, 
when you despise them. <laughs> if you think that they want your faith, then you are a fool, Henry. They want nothing from you, and yet you continue to try and ingratiate yourself with them. What is it that you want? Maybe you'd like one of these Hawaiian women for yourself? <gasps> oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry, Mary. Please. God, what have I done? I hate you. I curse the day that we met. You will never lay a hand on me again. Mary. Be careful, Chief S. What do you mean? We don't know what their intentions are. They have come to Japan to force us to trade. We refused. And? They threatened to take over our country. Be careful. This fine evening, good sir. May I help you, gentlemen? Gentlemen! <laughs> no gents here. Just us boozing, whoring, good for nothing sinners. Right, preacher? I'm not here to judge you. <laughs> oh, you're not? What if I did this, huh? Bah! I sinner now! Huh? Ah! Sinner now! <laughs> Stop it! Stay out of this, That's old man. Enough. This doesn't concern you. I said, that's enough. What? Who are you? Go in peace. Boys, let's go. Let's get out of here, come on. You are not well received, Mr. Bingham. <laughs> I guess not. So, why are you here? <sighs> to tell people about God. I cannot believe you travel this long a journey for that. There must be another reason. Like what? Like you want to force these people to trade with you. I assure you, I have no such intentions. Americans came to Japan to force us to trade with you, remember? That's not why I'm here. I'm here for something more valuable. And what is that? I'm hoping to find out. My Palala. A kapu. Ah, ole oi, kumaku palala. Kalaima. I come a kayai. Ole oi, I make a kai melua kayala. Oh, that poor man. Chief, can't you do something? I'm going to go. No way. I don't agree with this, Mrs. Thornton. But I cannot go against what the priestesses say in regards to Pele. There must be a sacrifice. 
But aren't you their leader? What would happen if they were not to go through with this? The volcano might erupt and completely cover this island. You truly believe that? Pele was exiled by her father because of her anger. The last straw was between her and her sister, Namaka Okahai, whose husband Pele had seduced. Pagan barbarism! Hiram? Hiram, what happened? Nothing, I'm okay. Did someone attack you? Yes. Who? Who did this to you? The sailors. Why does God allow all of these worthless beasts to roam the earth? Mary, we must love our enemies and even pray for those who persecute us. Otherwise, what difference is there between us and them? Sometimes it is not possible or practical to live out God's word. Mary, keep the faith, Mary. I have known Kapu for many years. He was a good man. He does not deserve to die like this. I watched them put him on the altar. I became filled with rage. What God requires a man to die for its appeasement, and if it isn't appeased, will erupt and destroy more innocent lives. These foreigners speak of a just God. Who is right? <coughs> Kapu! Eha no hano kamake ana no kowakua! Eha ole o pele! A eho ku ia i kauhane! Mala kapenaku! Avi mako ike ya moi na oi! I know that is wrong. It is. I knew Kapu. He is not a bad man. I'm sure he wasn't. Rave Uya, Ikulu Pele. Mary, are you all right? Mary, please talk to me. I can't believe this is happening. They sacrificed a human life just to appease some pagan god. Henry, please take me back home. I don't want to stay here. We don't belong here for the love of God, Henry, please. I should have said something. No. No. We can't. This is, this, this is their land, not ours. We can't forget that. We can't forget that. And so two months went by and we watched these missionaries from a distance, unsure of what to make of them. They continued to persevere.
Meanwhile, the foreign woman becomes more frail by the day. I fear she may not live much longer. She is so weak and fearful. Mary, I may never have said this to you before, but I love you. I'm so sorry for what you had to go through while you're here. It's I promise to have you on the first boat home. You have my word on this. I promise, Mary. Pretty good for your first time. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any children, Mr. Bingham? I did. But uh, my son passed. And shortly afterwards, my wife died. We sorry, Mr. Bingham. How you overcome such a loss? God. He helped me through it. Kawahine Okohoa. Anakama Ano. She's not adjusting well, unfortunately. Is there anything we can do to help her? I don't know what to do, honestly. Except pray. You pray to God? Yes. Are you all right, dear? We're going to die here, Henry. No, God will protect us. If there is a God, he's not here. We need to go home. I will take care of this. Give me the self I made a promise to you, and I'll have you on the next boat, home, and I'll be with you. I promise, I'll never leave your side. God help me. Uh, help me know what you want me to do. Oh, I've utterly failed in every way. My wife despises me, Lord. She'll never forgive me. God. Did you just send all of us here to die? It seems neither of us can sleep tonight. Oh. No. Oh, that's true. That's true. How is your wife? She's not well. I'm afraid she's not well. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do? No. No, she's... She's being ferociously attacked by a terrible, terrible enemy. Enemy? Yes. What enemy? 
Satan, the devil. Ah, uh, yes, the enemy of all. Tell me something, why does our God require a sacrifice and yours does not? There was a human sacrifice and his name was Jesus Christ. Wait a minute, you said this Jesus was God's son. How did he become a human sacrifice? For what reason? He let himself be killed as a final sacrifice to appease the wrath of God for all of our sins. Now I'm really confused. You and Hiram spoke of this God of love. Now he is a God of wrath. Which one is it? It's hard to believe in a God that could have so many facets to his personality that he could love his children, bring the grace of forgiveness to the whole world, and still have such anger against those who sin against him. But why would God want to sacrifice his only son? Why not an evil person who deserves it? Because it was a perfect sacrifice. The only acceptable sacrifice to God. A God who sacrifices himself for humans. That intrigues me. Have a good night, Mr. Thornton. Good night, Highness. Good night, Chiefess. Father God, please help us. We came to bring the good news about your son to these people, but it's been anything but good for us. Please, dear God, bless my wife. Help her recover, if it is your will. The next ship arrives in less than two weeks. The missionaries have now been on our island for three months. The woman missionary is doing poorly. We offered her meat, poi, but she cannot eat what we eat. Perhaps their holiday celebration will lift her spirits. Will you? We'd love to, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Mahalo. Welcome. Mahalo. Welcome. Mahalo. Papa. Kelly Vahini. Oma popo ya we ha lele la ko we kamo ko hiki mayana. Ehele o Mr Thornton ami kana vahine. Aka e noho o Mr Bingham. O pa we ka ele. O va o ke ali vahine o ke yo hana. Mamuli o ka uko o ha e pono e ha alele. E po ino i ko ma ko hana. O like la ko me cook e o po ino la ko. Ko ka ko ko. He po e ho ole lakou. He hea. Pono lakou a pau e holo i ka moku hou. Kanoa has the entire islands in the grip of fear. No one wishes to listen, even to possible truth. Look at all of them. Look at all the stars. How many are there? A billion? A trillion? We come here, some of us, away from our families and our homes. But to spend Christmas with others. 
and any sacrifice for the sake of Jesus Christ is rewarded much more. Reverend Henry, Makana to you. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you, Makana, and Merry Christmas for you. May I join you guys? Yes, please. So nice to see you came. Akira, yes? Can we sing Silent Night for you? Yes, please. Bless us with your beautiful voices, young men. <clears throat> Ready? Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Oh, that was beautiful. Let's sing it again. Silent night, holy night. Ke huli neina ala ka ina oi. Ua hele oi ka ho ulu ulu kaliki maka. A ole mau popo i a u. A ole au e lohe i ke kahi mea. E like me ia. He aha ihana ai. Ua ike au. I ka malu hia. Ke aloha. Ka ho uli. He aha kau e olelo nei. A ole no oi. Pehea ina. Oi ai o kela. O ke akua. He akua o ke aloha. A ole ino. E o lelo vau he mea nani loa keia. Manao ko mako po e Henry opukaha ia. Ua manao o ia. Ua kakao o ia. E pili ana i keia. Yesu? Aka. Aole mau popo iau. Yali, ai e moa ia e e kolu mau lā. O vai. Makana. Makana? Oia kā. A ole. Puno mākau e hoopau i keia. E ka moi, a ole hiki. Kau oha ia e kū. A ohe au huli no ka mākau ali. Ka meha meha. Ua hoopau ka moa hai ana o nāka naka. Ho o pau ia ia, no nga po e haole. O make make mākou i kou mākou a mea pono. O make o ia mākou, pau kou o mana ana i kou mākou a kua? Pehea ina. Haole kou mākou a kua ke ala vale no? Pehea ino aia, ki a kua e a e? Woki, ke ai nei oe i ka hana, a ka po e haole e komo i loko o kou nga au. He aha ano a kua pono ka mohai ana o nga kanaka. He kanaka maika i o a makana. A e ho o maki ana maka o iaia, e ho olu i ke kahi a kua. E ike ole ia? Ike ole ia? E a kahele i ke ke ali i. A ia oe makapalena no ke ku amu amu kue i ka mako a kua. O pau, wai ana o ia.
If you exist, show me. Mary, Mary, this is the freshest food you will ever find. Much fresher than in Boston. In Brooklyn villages, they gave you a gift. I'm so sorry I brought you here. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Mary. Merry Christmas. She okay, Hiram? She's suffering from some sort of breakdown. I don't know what to do, honestly. Henry is with her now. Well, what about prayer? Yes. Prayer. I think prayer. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you. No evil shall befall you. Makimake <laughs> Mau po e kela e ni na o mau waya ya e pule ya pele a ole he o ya i o e kahea na awi na kupuna.
Mary. Mary, are you okay? Yes. Huh? I'm just glad he survived. Oh, me too. Me too. I'm so sorry I behaved oh, so no. terribly. I made a fool of myself no. and I brought shame no, on our no, entire No, you didn't, Mary. I can see it in their eyes. You were so brave to come here. You're in the first coward. place, I should have seen before we came how difficult it would be here for you. Oh, Mary. I'm so proud. So proud of you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And just like that, Mary became a new person. The heavy veil of oppression lifted from her. It was the beginning of a new day. So beautiful. Yes. It is so beautiful. I was talking about you. Me? Henry. You find me beautiful? Yes. What's going on? They are sacrificing another of us. Again? Who? Makana. Why? Because his father was an enemy of our king. God give us strength. <laughs> Karen, what's wrong? They're sacrificing again. A human? Yes, Makana. Not Makana, this can't be. We have to stop this. I don't know how we can. <laughs> Henry always says that we shouldn't interfere. Look what good that did last time. I'm not going to stand by and watch an innocent man be put to death. It's only one of you, Hiram, with no weapons against all of these warriors! I'm sorry, Mary. I have to try. Makana is my friend! My brother! He's our friend too, but I'm afraid there's nothing you can do! I'm sorry, Mary. I have to try. <laughs> Hey, 
hupo makau yaya. Ai mo ai ano uya. A ole oye holo ike ya ohana e alika. Vau vale no e pane aku ya pele. Ameku. Imila ko ika mo ai kanaka. A ole. A ole vau e ai ike ya e alika. A ole au e ai aku ika hau mia o ko makau akua. Hiki no ke amako kama aina. Ke make no kama hana. Nana iluna. Wa hu hu kalo pele. Ke o a one yau e ho pakele i ko mako ka hale mai. Ka luku yana. He a ka wana. Are you going to let them sacrifice Makana? What choice do I have, Mr. Bingham? Huh? I cannot go against what Pele asks. Tell them to stop. It is up to the gods. Be quick, Hiram. Yes, Jesus. How are you, Makana, my brother? I'm so sorry for the trouble we got you in, my friend. I am to die tomorrow. I need to know the truth about your God. He's not my God. He's everyone's God. He can be your God too. It's too late now. It's never too late. As long as there is breath in your body, the Bible says he who calls upon the Lord will be saved. Is it possible? Yes. It is a wonderful thing for God to sacrifice himself for us. Brother Hiram, please, my wife and children, make sure they are taken care of. Please. Yes. Of course I will. What I wouldn't give to go surfing again. Hello, my Makana. I am taking his place. I said, I am taking his place. You can sacrifice me instead.
Hiram with them. He must have done something wrong. Hiram, what are you doing? What is going on? Alika! What's going on? Stay back! Alika! Alika! I am not here. Walk through! Ellie! Why are you holding Mr. Bingham? He said he will be sacrificed. What? What? No! I don't have a family. Makana does. Hiram, this is not our affair! Hiram, this is madness. Please Put tell him no! I shall do that tomorrow, when the sun rises. In the meantime, release Mr. Bingham to me. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oku! Oku ya! E 
makiana o kapi olani. Ah, e makina malehini pu. Why? Lako a pau. E oki ana i ko lako ivi. Ono ane ke iu. Iki a mako ke kauvali ya lako. Onuno kamu. Ame kamu. Alika. Make make oi e ho e mi au. Iki no. You are the only one that wants them dead. Alaila, elilo au i alii. E ola na mako, akahino, e make o kapi olani. A ole oe hana nei ke yano pele? A ole a nei? E a hako mana o. O ke ia ka mana. Make make oe e lilo i ali i bahine. Mai hana pela. You must leave now before the villagers arise. I have a boat waiting to take you to Oahu. Why? If I do not return, you will be killed. You will return. Either way, you should leave. If we leave now, then our faith means nothing. The priestesses, they are very powerful. They may have us killed before this all plays out. No one has ever returned from the volcano. Sweetie, that was so beautiful. You were wonderful. Yeah. yeah. It's a good boy. Come here. Good boy. Listen, she's arranged for us to leave tomorrow morning on the boat. Why? Because they're going to kill us if she does not come back. I believe she will return. No, I know, I, but we can't be certain. I'm not concerned about myself, but I cannot let anything happen to you. I am not afraid to die as long as I am with you. God, I know, I know, I know. It will be all right. Oh, We're in on. God's hands. Just come with me. Okay, come on. Come on. Jesus, I love you. I know you are the Son of God. I know you are the Savior of the world. Please be with me as I go to the volcano. And if I die, I look forward to seeing you. Ahui ho! E ha'alele ana o! Ah, eh, ho, eh, ho, oh. Ke ali vai ne. Ke olu olu. Ke ni nau ne yau ya oi, ma ke ano ko kau. Ha a ha a, mai hana i ke ia. Ke ali. Ah, ole ma ke ma ke ma ko. E ke ali vai ne. E noi ko i ko i ke ia. Mai hele. Hilina hi keka hi ina mea oia i o ole. Olelo na mo olelo. E make ana oi na i hele i hale ma u ma u me ka mo hai ole. Ma o popo. No Laila. E make ana o. Hila hila ya oi. E kanaka hilina i ole oi i leke me lako. No one touches them while I am gone. That is a direct order. They will be unharmed. But if you do not return by the end of the day, they will die. Leave them be! Lika, it is me that you want. Kelly, I'm willing to die today. We will kill you both! Will she be safe? Yes. Should I accompany her? No. 
I've heard that no one ever comes back alive. She's in God's hands now. Why? You knew the consequences if I fail. We won't desert you. Your faith is our faith. You're our sister in Christ. We will stand with you until death. You are truly my brothers and sisters then? Yes. 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 We are one family now. Jesus. Please. Please forgive me. I behaved so despicably when I first arrived here. I, I treated you with such contempt. <laughs> I was a poor example of a Christian and a woman. And yet you embraced our faith. I know now that I am no better than anyone here on this island, and in fact far worse than you with your extraordinary courage. I know you do not have any reason to forgive me, but please understand that my bigotry was only mine. It had nothing to do with them. Please forgive them. Please forgive all of us. Mary, we have all been lost once, but now we have found. We are all children of our God. Be at peace, my sister. I love you. I love you too. Courage. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God is with us. God be with her. Prove yourself! Show yourself! Prove yourself to me! Are you asleep? Kill them! Kill them! Kill them all! All of them? Yes! He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my strength and in my trust. It is unfortunate. Let to come to this. You have shown great courage. But we must follow orders. We pray to die. Away! Oh, my God. 
Ja, euer i Keller. Ja, ja, mach komm. She's alive. She's alive. She's alive. She is alive! <laughs> Let them go. They are free to worship the volcano god if they choose. And we are free to worship our god. The truth shall set you free. You can worship any god you choose. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord Jesus Christ. There will be no more killing. No more sacrifices. No more religion. You are set free from this bondage. Enough! Did you hear? There will be no more killing. This is our chiefest. And you will obey our command. Go! Mahalo. Kalamai. No ukaeva. Mau no ka o mana mana ya pele a ka hiki ke a oe piliana i kau a kua. That was the most courageous act that I've ever seen. It was not my doing. I was led by God. It was a miracle. We were afraid you wouldn't come back. I had my doubts. It is a cause for celebration! <laughs>
are you? A man. Just like you. It was a cause for celebration. I felt something on that mountain I cannot describe. A hand of someone who protected me. And so it was. I finally understood what the good news meant. We found a new freedom we hadn't known and a God who deeply loved us. People tell me what a courageous act it was to challenge the volcano. But it was courage born from the love of God. The love I had been searching for all my life.